So just really quickly, I'm going to let Brandy introduce our guest speaker today, who's a phenomenal guy. And uh, I just want to remind everybody when Tony is complete, I just want you to stay on the call for another two or three minutes because I'm going to share with you an opportunity for you to be in the luxury magazine. And we've gotten this information out to the uh, team leaders. We just want to make sure that everybody's aware and that we have a cutoff coming up at the end of this um, at end of this week. So we want to make sure that uh, for you as luxury agents, I'll have an opportunity to be a part of that if that's something you choose to do. So Brandy, I'll let you take it away. Tony, I love you. And uh, uh, Brandy, go ahead. Thank you, Georgia. And thank you for hosting us. So um, it is my privilege and my honor to welcome Tony Giordano. He is a top real estate agent, and I'll say global agent. He does not define any boundaries, and you'll hear all about that in a minute. He is a business consultant, a national speaker, president of his enterprise company, Giordano Industries, president and founder of a national, national luxury real estate advertising firm, which I've had the privilege of working with, the Opulent Agency, which is based in Los Angeles, and a national coach for some of the biggest agents in the world. He happens to be my coach, and he's also... Uh, a, a husband to his new wife, his beautiful wife, London, and also a business partner. So welcome, Tony, and uh, give us a little bit of background about yourself. Let everyone know who you are. Definitely. I'm very, uh, very happy to be on the call today. Um, if uh, you have heard of me um, before, if you've heard me speak or teach the, the amazing KW North Florida region, which I've gone to plenty of times to speak at your regional events for the lovely Georgia and Ashley, uh, then hop in the chat. Tell me uh, what you remember. And if you were one of the people that I've met in the past and, and you've heard me or you read my books, I'd love to hear from you today in the chat. Um, for those that don't know who I am, uh, a quick, really fast background, just so we don't take uh, too much of your time. Uh, got in the business 1998 at 20 years old, uh, December of 98 as a mortgage broker first, um, started doing home loans, made my first million in a 12 month period at the age of 26 in 2004. Um, that led to eventually owning my own company with partners of mine, being considered one of the top mortgage broker firms for Countrywide, B of A, Washington Mutual, remember those names? Uh, and uh, in 2007, pretty much had every toy you could possibly think of, 19 homes, life is just amazing. Uh, you name it, I had it, fine art, fine watches, and I lost everything in the 2008-2009 economic crash and housing crash uh, that some of you may have gone through yourself. And when I say I lost everything, everything. I was down to a beat up pickup truck, my surfboards, and my dog. That's all I had left after millions worth of material possessions and income and everything. I went from an 812 FICO score to 496 in less than nine months. I had 19 foreclosures on my credit. I go through a massive divorce. My youngest son's diagnosed with autism. Uh, I had a couple severe injuries physically, uh, cracking my head open, having to be in the hospital. So you name it, it happened and I lost everything. So in 09, I finally just got so fed up with the lending side and the mortgage side of things that I switched to the sales side because how hard could being a realtor really be? Yeah, that was a big reality check. I had no idea how hard uh, real estate agents actually worked. And I was a very high-end mortgage broker. So some of the things that I'm gonna go into today is how I got into the high-end luxury, $10 million house, $5 million loan, pro athletes, uh, high-level executives, people like that. So when I lost everything and I had to switch to the sales side, I still had all those techniques that I learned, but I had no money. I couldn't go networking. I couldn't take people out to dinner. I didn't have my black Amex anymore. All of these things that used to be all this great ways of networking and, and getting clients, but I still knew all the offline tricks, all the tricks of networking and, and getting in with, with high-end spheres. So I uh, took that same approach online. 
If you guys can, if you're not on mute, please press mute. We hear some background noises. Um, so I, what I did is I implemented a couple strategies of mine. I did a couple things that I saw high end luxury agents doing. And at that point, uh, launched an amazing website and within 30 days got a $5.8 million listing from a random lady who I added as a friend on Facebook, who I took my offline techniques online. And I use social media the way that still 99.8% of agents still are not using social media correctly. It drives me nuts. And I took that offline approach online and the rest is history. Rookie of the year for Coldwell Banker, number one office in the United States at the time before I came to KW. Started writing the book in 2011, the first one. And everything just rebuilt. I rebuilt the entire empire I lost, all fueled by the real estate sales side of the business. Came to KW, went into leadership, went into owning offices, but continued to build my own coaching programs and things like that, writing the books, and have been a speaker. And when people ask me, which is often, how did you rebuild everything you lost so fast? Like you lost everything and you were back within a couple years i always tell people well besides mindset which is everything uh i said i'm online and i know how to market myself period and name one multi-billion dollar company that exists today that doesn't put those two things first they're online and they know how to market themselves and when we say marketing yourself I don't want you just thinking of paid marketing, advertising. I want you thinking, do you even know how to market yourself to your community as a respectable business person to even be worthy to network with another high-end luxury clientele and ask them the lead gen question? Are we even worthy to take the CEO of the local hospital to lunch? Would he even accept the lunch invitation through the techniques that I teach? Or would he just go to your LinkedIn profile when we're using LinkedIn to do that and see realtor at Keller Williams? That's the position. That's what he sees connecting with him. Or are you the CEO of Smith Group at Keller Williams Realty? See a CEO will give another CEO mutual respect. So how do you run your business? How do you look online and offline to your community? And we'll talk about some of those things today. So online and marketing our, ourselves is, is so key today. Oh, you're on mute, Brandy. All right, I muted everyone because we had some background. So I, I would say, don't you go on mute. Just so I'm that, not going to unless my dog barks, but so far they're okay. good in the, in the guest room. <laughs> um, so. Obviously, you've been doing online marketing for a long time. And before I think most people were utilizing Facebook at all, that's come a long way. Now we have so many different platforms and so many different ways to market it. And then throw COVID in the mix. I have to ask you, being that you've done video and you have a huge social media following, I mean, let's give the audience just a little bit of an idea of the amount of followers that you have on some of the bigger, you know, Instagram and Facebook. Where are you at in that right now? Um, I've built, I mean, it's taken a long time. This is not something that happens overnight. And I think a lot of people think like, oh, it's, of course he's doing well. Look at the following. The fo Well, that's not my following. Uh, that's Joe Rogan. Yeah, <laughs> from I can see that. Uh, so, uh, 240,000, 243,000, and that is something that has gone, has taken a long time to grow. And that is with a lot of online campaigns that I run. I mean, good grief. I average now today, I didn't in 09, when I was rebuilding, I was maybe doing a hundred dollar advertisement here and there in 2010, as I was getting listings. But then eventually the $100 budget a month going to online advertising went to 200, then 1,000, then 2,000, then 3,000. And good grief, I average at least 10 to $15,000 a month in Facebook and Instagram ad campaigns in addition to YouTube and LinkedIn. So it takes a long time to do this. Uh, but 
yeah, the combined following across all my networks would probably add up to about a half a million. And that's a lot for a real estate agent. Who's yeah, I, mean, that's, I don't see a lot of real estate agents utilizing at a high level like that. That's obviously why we have you on here. So, you know, what's the latest in online marketing that you see right now, especially with everything we're dealing with? What's you know, I, oops, you know, I want to do something really quick, Brandy. I forgot to announce this. Uh, I'm, you know, uh, for everybody on the call right now, Brandy asked me to do something really uh, big time for all of you. And I agreed to it. So, or, or one of you actually. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do a big giveaway today. Um, at the end of this call, you have to be on the call still in order to wait. How long is this call? We're probably going to run about 45, 50 minutes. I know Georgia Perfect. has a few announcements Perfect. for some of the luxury agents. So what we're going to do is at the end of my portion, I'm going to announce the winner. Okay. So what we're going to do, though, what I'm giving away, um, just so you know what you're going to win, but you have to be on the call, is on my coaching uh, website, I have individual and group. You are not winning an individual coaching slot. Let's be 100% clear. You're not winning a slot like Brandy has where it's one-on-one -on -one coaching with you and I only directly. You are winning the group coaching program of mine. This group coaching program is right here and what it is is that you're on the call with an, a lot of other agents who are in my group coaching program what you're going to get just so you know is in my group program which is normally 2400 a year 199 a month today somebody's going to win uh this program you will get a bi-weekly live coaching call with me every month twice a month for a year this is a one-year membership I'm giving away. You will have exclusive access to our private groups where you can ask me questions anytime you want. Actually ask me questions and I will answer your questions inside our private group. You will have access to all the invaluable resources that I have, scripts, action plans, but it's just not one-on-one, -on -one. it's group program. And uh, what we're gonna do is at the end of the uh, session, I'm gonna have you all text a phone number and whosoever text we get first with the winning word that I'm going to give you, that's going to be the winner. Okay. So awesome. giving away a one year membership to the group program today. So get ready. Um, okay. Now, what was your question? One more time. So online marketing, obviously you've been doing this for a while, well in advance of, you know, what I think other people were doing and, and years ahead uh, and very forward thinking right now what are you doing what are you seeing is the most effective for online marketing so online marketing starts with your website you have got to have a luxury website what do i mean by a luxury website if you're going to go after the super high-end clientele not just somewhat high-end clientele you want to go after the two three four, 10, $15 million clientele in your marketplaces, then you need to look luxury online, period. Now, this is my advertising firm for luxury real estate. This is not my team at Keller Williams or my brokerage. This is an actual advertising firm that even Brandy has used in the past for high-end uh, deals where Opulent Agency will help market your properties in all of the things online and offline. We shoot the video, we get the video to go viral. We do all of the online demographic targeting campaigns. Everything that I try to teach agents to do, we do it for you for a percentage of the commission. But if you are not using a company like that, then that means you have to be the online marketer. You are the person that needs to do this at a high level. Well, Tony, but with technology, it's like once we put it on MLS, it's on 100 websites globally in a matter of a week. Anybody who's looking for a, a house like mine in my Florida region is going to see the listing. It doesn't matter if they Google it from Japan or they're local. They're going to put $5 million homes, North Florida, Sarasota, and my listing is going to populate wherever they're looking. So what more do I have to do? I'm going to run $1,000 for photography I might and brochures. 
I'm going to do another thousand dollars or two thousand dollars for a video because I'm one of the 10% of agents who do it. 90% do not shoot videos like they should. Uh, but, and then I'm going to use some of my resources. I'm going to do a couple open houses. Uh, I'm going to protect them with the right disclosures when it does go under contract so my sellers don't get sued. And I probably spent overall about, I don't know, $4,000 out of my pocket. And yeah, I still think I'm worth $90,000 commission. <laughs> See, that's the problem with our industry today is no one's doing offline print advertising because print advertising is dead and doesn't work. Oh, yes, it does work. But that's the new excuse on why we don't run print advertisements, advertisements anymore. So then our client is like, well, then what do you do? Well, we're, you're going to be on all these websites. We'll have it up on the MLS. We do social media marketing. So you'll see us post it to the, to the world. Unfortunately, you're not posting it to the world. You're posting it to your friends on Facebook and Instagram and having 19 realtors say, ooh, that's a good one. Okay, I'll let you know if I have a buyer. <laughs> okay, Sally, congrats, confetti. And that's what the client today thinks is social media marketing. When we are running $2,000 campaigns on Facebook and Instagram, that gets massive exposure to our listing to be worthy to sell our value to earn that five or 6% commission because that's what's happening today is the client is getting savvy and they're asking us, why are you worth with technology and access to information? How are you worth this much? And if you can't be showing them what you do and how much money you invest in selling their house, look in your rearview mirror because retirement's coming a lot quicker than you think. The, the mega agents that come out of the next five years in this industry, who I call power agents, are going to be the ones that take this seriously and are willing to invest again in marketing their property and their brands. So when you think about an investment, just look at the commission and, and put a certain amount that you are going to spend towards marketing that property. But in luxury real estate, how do you look different when we go online? If I was to Google you and you say you're a luxury agent and I looked at your website today, would it look like the top luxury agents in the United States who have gorgeous websites, who went out and built amazing websites, spent thousands of dollars instead of using the website that's provided to them by their company? So Opulent is just an example of what we do for people, but what you need to be doing on your own. If you were to click real estate brokers on the opulentagency.com, this is everything we do on our own listings as well for our team, which is called Modern Group. This is what we do, but this is what we do for other brands and other agents and guarantee these numbers, literally guarantee the numbers you see. We still run offline print advertising, video marketing, we get the videos to go viral. This blows sellers out of, the, out of the water when we show them what we do. And if you are going to be one of the agents that I go up against here in LA, or just imagine if I moved to the North Florida region and I became your competitor. Pretend that Brandy and I are going head to head for a huge multi-million dollar listing in Sarasota next week. And I sit in the listing presentation and I know they're going to interview another high-end luxury agent. Maybe I already know who they're planning on interviewing because that happens in high-end luxury real estate. And I get to the point where I show them everything we do, right? I even walk them through it live, actually live on my uh, computer. So tip number one today, start going fully live on your listing presentation. Now, of course, when we get to the point of being able to go in people's houses again and do listing presentations, then sure, that'll be, that'll be awesome when that happens. But right now we can do virtual. I've been doing virtual listing presentations for at least six years on Zoom. I, I've done, I have a video listing presentation that I, I just sent to somebody. You can't see it on YouTube, it's just a private link but anybody I send that link to, it's literally a video listing presentation so that I don't even need to go over to their house. I've had that for a long time too. But tip number one 
make your listing presentation live even at their house. And what I do is I don't bring over a CMA on uh, you know, cloud CMA or, or a market analysis. I actually go into the MLS and I have me and the sellers do the CMA together. So how many bedrooms? Okay, boom, boom, boom. Okay, we're gonna pull up your house, right? Okay, so here's your house. What we're gonna do is a market analysis of everything in the area. See, now it's not something I brought over that I could have manipulated or see, I think we need a list for this. I'm doing it right there with them so that they can come to the same conclusion of what we should list their house for. Then I don't just say I do social media marketing. I actually take them into our social media and run them through actual campaigns like of what we know how to do versus just telling them we know how to do it. So example, I'm gonna say, so let's say that this is your house right here, right? I'm gonna tell them, this is your house. Uh, we shoot the video for your home. All right, I'm gonna tell them we shoot the video for your house. And after we're done, uh, whether I do a booth, somebody hit mute. I muted them. Okay. So whether I hit boost or I go into the advanced advertising of Facebook, uh, it's gonna take me into my demographic targeting process, right? That I know people on this call have heard me teach you how to do it and still are not doing it. Nor are they spending the right amount of money because they don't wanna spend money out of their pocket because, well, I think I'm worthy of the 98% profit that is the commission check on the commission check these days on the average real estate agent. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to actually walk them through creating an audience, demographically targeting them, showing them how much money I'm going to spend. They see the audience after I'm done. Let's say we're targeting everybody in Russia and Brazil who show interest in Northern Florida, right? And I say, and then I can literally say with one click of a button, so right here, let's say I'm going to spend $1,500. See how big the audience is going to be? This is what I know how to do. This is why we have the following. This is why we get the exposure we get. And the key to sold, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, is exposure, period. So do you think I'm doing this, ladies and gentlemen, to find a buyer for the property? Yeah, because I will find a buyer for the property doing it. But more importantly, it's to get the next listing. When I show the next client what we know how to do, that's why you do social media at a high level is not necessarily because it works all the time in getting leads. It's because you show the next person the results you got in exposure. So now let's say Brandy and I are going head to head. I just finished this amazing listing presentation. They're blown away by it. And now imagine going up against this, ladies and gentlemen. Now the next agent you interview is going to say, we do social media marketing as well. Right when they do that, I want you to stop them right there and say, great, that sounds fantastic. Please pull up the last five listings you boosted or ran an ad campaign for on Facebook and Instagram. Show me how much money you spent and how much exposure it actually got. See, you don't want to go up against me if we're being interviewed because I already know 99.9% .9 of agents will look at that seller like a deer in the headlights and know that they've been cornered because they're about to be, if they are one of the agents who do boost and run campaigns on their listings, which is less than like 1% in America, I know that the average amount of money they spent is complete, just, it's just ridiculously low for high end luxury real estate. So even if they can pull it up, now the client's gonna see that they spent $100 on that ad and be like, so how are you worth $90,000? But we spend 1,500, 2,000. Now, did I at the beginning? No, I had to go, eventually I had to start spending that money. But a true luxury real estate agent should also have the ability to put money away, to always be able to invest into the next deal and very few do that. You get one big deal and the money and you spend it and you don't invest in your business to get five more deals just like it. 
And that's what high-end agents do to domino effect where you have a ton of luxury real estate. So going back, now the next agent, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, is gonna say, we're planning on shooting a video too. I want you to once again say, great, please pull up the last five listings you shot a video for, show much how much money you spent in YouTube advertising and how much exposure it actually got and how many views it actually got. Because who cares how great your videos are, Mr. Agent, if no one watches them. And I know that the average real estate agent only gets less than a thousand views on their videos. So I already know that they're going to be cornered now as well. See, what I'm doing is I'm educating the seller to ask the questions I would ask that next agent if I got to sit in the listing presentation with them. And I did mine live. So London, my wife and I constantly hear our clients tell us, the reason we chose you is because you educated us, Tony. We actually feel like you didn't just come in and say what you do, you actually showed us how you do it. So what I want you to remember for online marketing, website is a luxury website. Facebook and Instagram, your business pages link together for online marketing campaigns. And then you have to run YouTube advertising on your videos. Every day we're on YouTube and we hit skip ad, skip ad, skip ad. But we don't think to be one of those ads that are skipped so that when we do do this, Oops, I misspelled it. Did I? Yeah. When we do do this, for example, this is an older channel of mine, but I'm just kind of trying to pull up something for you guys to see here. Uh, this isn't our real estate branded channel, but it's got some real estate videos on it. Uh, you know, look at the view counts on these and it's because we run online advertising now did that sell the property in some of these cases it sells the property but it gets us the next listing now online marketing evolutions or things that are happening right now yes we hear things of TikTok, and there's snapchat and there's all these other online things out there your focus as a real estate agent in luxury real estate needs to be your website facebook instagram your YouTube channel, run ad campaigns, and probably your LinkedIn as well. Yes, are the other networks powerful? Sure, Pinterest is powerful for luxury real estate. TikTok will be somewhat powerful, but I always tell people to focus on the things that are the dominant, and here's why. TikTok is now being, there's, there's a risk that, that the president's going to shut down TikTok from being used in the United States because it's a China-based social network. So he wants to shut it down. He wants to ban it. Wasn't uh, Amazon like, employees are already like required to take it off their devices, like certain employees with like yeah. Amazon and larger companies. So it's kind of questionable. Exactly. So that, and, and I know these things. So when people have been asking me for the last year and a half, like, what about TikTok? What about TikTok? I have it. I use it. It's powerful. It will continue rising, but it's not Instagram. It's not something as a dominant online network for building a brand or building okay. relationships at a high level. Facebook so, said they were going to release something like TikTok, but then they decided to run it through Instagram. So I think once that happens, I mean, who knows? So the reason why I knew Snapchat would eventually kind of dwindle a little bit, which it's dwindled a lot over the last couple of years, but when Instagram came out with stories, like as soon as Facebook, let's not forget who owns Instagram, as soon as Facebook made Instagram do everything Snapchat could do, Snapchat lost its umph, it lost its trend, it lost its, its high level growth. It's still a dominant network owned by the same company who owns WeChat, uh, but it's just can't, it can't compete with, with Instagram anymore. Well, guess what Facebook just made Instagram come out with as Brandy's hinting. It's called Instagram Reels, R-E-E-L-S, which is going to do exactly what TikTok does. It's being beta tested in only a couple countries right now. And once it goes live, once again, it's done. So focus on building your brand, have fun with the other networks, but 
these are the ones that you should be focusing on right now when it comes to online marketing, uh, both yourself as who you are and your brand and, and product, which is your, your brand name and your, your listings, which is what we sell as real estate agents. Can you go back to your YouTube? Because I think I saw a video you helped me with. Um, it had 44,000. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right here. So I have a little story about this. <laughs> So you helped me with the Auckland agency get exposure for this listing and they end up staying in the home. They decided not to sell, but just last Friday, I had someone call me about the video, which is also on my website that you helped me with and their cash 20 million. And of course I'm going, sure you are, you know, I need to, <laughs> to vet this guy. So I end up getting proof of funds. He signed a buyer agreement two days ago. Of course, we have no inventory. So I'm, I'm calling the seller. Would you consider reselling? No, but my friend down the street would, similar size homes. So not only has this opened me up to some more listing opportunities that I'm going to need your help with um, for the $10 million and up, I also now have to find this $20 million buyer, which we don't have a lot of that. We're not, we're not quite in the price point you are in um, Southern California, but I mean, just that video alone brought me a buyer just what a year later that you wouldn't expect. And you think, oh, well, the seller decided to stay in their home. This is kind of, we're done with that. Well, the online exposure never leaves and people are still on there viewing you and your brand and your presence. Without question. And I will send you the referral fee for that buyer. <laughs> yeah, That's right. I've got, um, I've got two buyers from it. So we'll have to talk see later. See how nice I am, everybody? I help market your properties and I don't even get the future business you get out of it. Whatever. <laughs> Actually, uh, I think we're going to have to talk about more listings and buyers, but we'll talk later. <laughs> yes, definitely. So now, I'll, before we end on online marketing, you can ask me the next question. This is uh, the difference. This was my opulent agency. So this is our advertising firm, which is not a, a real estate team. This is our actual uh, website for our team here in LA as a, as a luxury real estate producing team type of thing. And what I wanted to show you on this is just the different things we do. Example, like when you click social on our website, you don't leave our website and go to Facebook or Instagram. All of our stuff feeds into our website. These are all of our social media posts that are actually feeding in um, so it, they reverse the platform. Uh, the two companies I use for this, uh, just so you know, because I know some of you might have been wondering like, oh, who builds your websites, uh, are two different companies. The first one who did Opulent Agency, this company is a company called MoPro, and it's very more involved. So you have to be pretty tech savvy if you really want to build a website with MoPro. For the people who just want someone to do it for them and know it's going to be perfect and it's going to just crush the rest of your competitors, that company is a company called Agent Image. So as you can see, Agent Image here at the bottom of my website. So Opulent was a company called MoPro. Modern Group, our real estate uh, website, is a company called Agent Image. The reason they're great is we have property search like Zillow, Trulia, New York Times, Wall Street Journal. But if people want our MLS in the rare cases that they actually want to look at our website and look at our listings, uh, then you can actually see our actual listings and then they could, they could click all, which will open up the entire MLS. But it's like anything in Agent Image, the reason Agent Image is great is because Agent Image uh, is approved with every single MLS out there across the United States. They're the number one real estate website company in the, in the United States. So, um, and if you call either of these companies and you say my name, they have significant discounts uh, that they offer people who are referred by me because I've referred them a lot of business over the years. So just say my name and they'll tell you the discount you get. Yeah, I would. All right, so hopefully that uh, helped you with Facebook, Instagram, um, and the power of using these networks yeah, I, I love my uh, MoPro site and um, I've heard great things about Agent Image from you and I've switched from Real Estate Webmasters, which was really expensive. And honestly, um, like I said, I've had better quality leads come through just from the video exposure and different things like that, having the capability to search to the platform that the actual consumer wants to be on rather yeah, than what we think they want to be on. Yeah, and I would re remember, you do need a Facebook friend page and an Instagram friend page like you see right here. This is my personal Instagram, right? 
So it's going to only be a few things about real estate, but it's mostly just my life. It's my social life. So we have to have a friend page of Facebook and Instagram because this is where we build relationships that ultimately turn into referrals. Your business pages, business pages are for you as a real estate agent. And if you don't have your own brand name as a team at KW, you're just John Smith, that's fine. But you need then John Smith friend page. And then you would need John Smith business page. But John Smith, the business page is probably going to say John Smith real estate. Uh, you need two of everything. Um, but I want to make sure that people know what my Instagram is because uh, follow me you know, follow everything you can of mine because you'll see how I do it as well. And maybe it'll give you some ideas uh, to do on or what to do on your stuff. Um, but I will say that we have to move on to the next question. Obviously, a lot of you know, I speak for days on days of curriculum of mine when it comes to online marketing. If I if this was just about Instagram and you guys wanted to just crush Instagram, this presentation would be eight hours long today for the next three days each, just Instagram. So I, we can't go into that stuff. Hopefully I'm just giving you some tips to start thinking differently on how you're using these networks. And we'll make sure to get um, all the different ways to follow you on all the different social media platforms out to all of our guests. And then we'll also send them where they can find your book. So if they like to read that, they can figure out how to order that on uh, Amazon or other ways to order the book. Perfect. I love okay, it. Okay, so wow, we're that's that's a lot. <laughs> Obviously, like you said, we could probably do a day on YouTube, a day on Instagram, and who knows how long on Facebook with as many people that are on Facebook. Um, let's move on to offline marketing. Obviously, you have to do both. So, what's the hot thing with offline marketing, and what are your best tips you can give our audience today? Um, so, everyone, there was a guy a long time ago. Some of you have heard. Uh, my story about who helped me get into the to the high-end clientele but he taught me just things that we need to do offline as salespeople. Um, and this was actually before the online world so uh what i think has happened is we're so focused on online and technology today that salespeople are forgetting what really builds relationships and what helps us get more business offline and first, I just want to open up with a couple things um, uh, that are just kind of like philosophies of mine. Everyone on this call right now, when you chose real estate as your career, that was choosing your product. So I'm a big believer that the bottom 80% in production, the people who aren't in the top 20%, heck, I actually think it's the bottom 90. Uh, people who are not in the top 10 or 15% in production of their marketplace, uh, they wake up every morning thinking they have one job. I'm a realtor. I got to sell a house today. And that's almost always why they're in the bottom 80 because they think of only having one job. But when you chose real estate, you actually chose your product. That's not the career you chose. That's just the product you, you chose. You chose a career in sales. And the people who are in the top 10% in production in America, they know that that career comes before their product. I chose a career in sales, which is why I focus on being better at sales than focus on just trying to sell a house today. I have to remember language of sales. I have to read books on the seven levels of communication. I have to read books about being better in sales and communication and language of sales. I go to events like train the trainer at KW or train the presenter and become a better presenter. Tony, I'm a real estate agent. I don't need to go to train the trainer advance because I'm not a trainer. I don't go and teach. Yeah, you do. It's called a listing presentation, but we don't think of it that way. We don't realize we're presenting to high end business savvy people. And if you learn how to be a better presenter, watch what happens. What did I say? Our clients are always telling us, we chose you because it feels like you taught us and showed us how you do this. The other agent just said, so you can see I'm number one in this and I'm number one in that and I'm number one in that and I do this and I do that and we do this and we do that. 
no, I'll crush any of those agents. So you actually chose a career in sales and the people in the top 10% put that first, which is why the client agrees to sign with them because they're so good at communication and sales and now they can move the product. But the top 1%, ladies and gentlemen, we realize we have three jobs. That when any of you on this call chose a career in sales as an independent contractor and your product to be a real estate, you know, dirt, you actually chose a career in guess what? Marketing and advertising. That is your career. It's marketing and advertising and not just paid advertising, as I said. Are you even marketing yourself to your community offline? Shaking hands, giving back, kissing baby. Well, not now, but <laughs> when, it, when it starts again. But what are you doing to remind people you exist in your community? If, you, if any of you flew out to LA and said, Tony, can I shadow you for a morning? And you just wanted to follow me from like seven in the morning to, or we'll say 8.30 or whatever. I, I start pretty early on, on getting out and about to the community. I'm at the coffee shop by 7 a.m. every single morning in between coaching uh, calls. So if any of you shadowed me, even for a morning or an evening or a lunchtime, anywhere I go and show you places in Santa Monica, Brentwood, Beverly Hills, Malibu, and this is not arrogance. This has taken years to build. Will you see me walk into a coffee shop? Hey, Tony, will you still, uh, that's a boutique coffee shop. Then I'll walk into Starbucks in front of you and the general manager will come out from back office because they saw me on the camera and say, hey, where have you been? I haven't seen you in a few days. If I go to a restaurant, every single bartender will say, hey, Tony. If I go to another restaurant, the branch manager will come out of that restaurant, the GM and say something. It's because I'm constantly meeting people and building relationships with people in my community so that they know I am the agent that they should call if they or a friend or anyone ever has a question. So you actually chose a career in marketing and advertising. That should be your focus every morning. And because you put that first, both paid and non-paid, now they call me. Well, we're definitely calling Tony. Like he's definitely worth a 60 minutes in our living room. So now they call me and now I get to take off that career hat and I get to put on my sales career hat. And because I go to things like fierce conversations and train the trainer and read books on language of sales, they like me. So now they sign with me. And now because they've signed with me under contract, cause I'm good at sales. Now I finally get to focus on my third job, which is moving my product. Do not forget that. Take this approach to how you run your business every day. Now, the power agents that I said earlier, who are going to be the power agents? What is a power agent, Tony? A power agent, I believe, is gonna be this new evolution of agent that rises in the next five years because they focus on one thing before anything, and it's research. The agents who start to do their research and not listen to what they hear their companies or other agents in the office saying, even if it's right, make sure you do your own research to know that what they're telling you is correct. And watch what happens to your business. Do you know how many things I hear companies saying today to their agents or just organizations where it is not what they say? And you could easily find this out if you just did your research. But a lot of agents don't take this seriously. Uh, I heard somebody yesterday say, hey, Tony, I'm going to this great Instagram training class. And I go, oh, who's the teacher? Uh, I don't know, but some, some great guy uh, who knows Instagram really well and teaches people marketing. And he's really well known. I go, awesome, well, get his name for me. I pulled up the guy, he has 600 followers on his personal Instagram account and 64 followers for his marketing agency's Instagram account. Oh gosh. With no blue check mark. If you ever are hearing somebody as a social media expert and teaches it and doesn't have a blue check mark, that is not anybody Instagram even thinks is worthy of teaching it. If you haven't built 
a brand and built something where Instagram has issued you personally the blue check mark. So it's something that is an indication that it's been earned because of the influence. But at least the following, you know, the blue check mark is hard to get. It just, you know, you can't ask for it. It just comes eventually. <laughs> but do your research. And and people don't. There a few months ago at our big event, like I'm not I'm not talking down to who was teaching it, but it was a class teaching on one of the platforms. I'm not gonna say which one because I don't want you to figure out who the teacher was. And my coaching clients at our event were saying, hey, should I go to this class? And I go, who's the instructor? And then I go, great. Now they're teaching what topic? Awesome. So now go to theirs. Are they worthy from what you can see that they know how to do what they're saying they know how to do? No. It's just somebody that they found as an instructor because he knows some things or she knows some things. So do your research and watch what happens. Now these other things come into play. The five factors of becoming a power agent in the next five years. Research, then you know where to focus in marketing and what to do. Then you can start prospecting. Then you'll need leverage and you'll always continue to innovate and be you. But it starts with research. One of the, one of the things, example, when no one was talking, when no one was paying attention to what was going on with cryptocurrency, I did my research years ago, years ago, 2014, 15. I became an expert on knowing what it is, how it works, why it is real, why it will not go anywhere, what blockchain technology is. That blockchain will take over the real estate industry in the next five to seven years. Not cryptocurrency, blockchain will be all the data and record keeping of our entire industry. It's already being the, the technology being used by governments and organizations. And before I know it, I'm being interviewed on CNBC every 90 days now as the expert in cryptocurrency in the luxury real estate market because I've handled several transactions where someone bought a property using Bitcoin, did not exchange it for US dollar, and the seller accepted Bitcoin as the form of currency. And yet 95% of, of our industry still doesn't know what it is, how it works, and anybody who ever called you as a luxury agent, you would say, uh, I don't think you can build, no, I don't think you can buy a house with Bitcoin or crypto. Yeah, you can. So power agents will rise. Offline marketing, you have to remember offline, like your signage, your flyers, your postcards need to be luxury. You cannot use the same things you put on lower end property on high end property. So you need to have a high end look listing presentation and a lower end. No one who's low end wants to see all of your glamour and lux because they're going to think you're too big for your bridges for their deal. And no one high end wants to see your ugly sign that's on the lower end stuff. <laughs> so why does Coldwell Banker not allow this blue and white sign in front of a house like that? Because it's not luxury. That goes on their lower end stuff. They want you to use the luxury division of Coldwell or now it's called global luxury is their luxury look. So why does every company have it? Low end, high end, low end. Side note, if any of you are still using that logo, <laughs> you're dead to me. There's a reason why KW and Gary changed it to the lowercase KW because it's sexy and will last forever. So do not use that logo. If you're one of the agents, well, my signs are fine, then you don't take marketing seriously. So would we ever want a sign like that in front of a house like that? No, we'd want our Keller Williams luxury division sign or your own branded high-end team brand that you have if you, if you have that. But Modern Group, our team at KW, that we have a high-end sign and Modern Group also has a lower end, like just, it's not low end, it's not like it's cheesy looking, it's just basic, but our, our high end, it looks luxury. And it's got this rusty metal trim on the outside, like a nice one, like steel. We have a solar light for all of our luxury listings. So a solar light goes right below it and shines up at it at night. We just look different. So 
these are all the little techniques that you need to be taking seriously offline. And then I'll, I'll conclude with uh, some of the offline strategies is it's not a magazine nor an ad, it's a global lifestyle campaign. Uh, DuPont Registry is by far the most dominant luxury real estate magazine in the world. Who cares what you know about it in Florida because they're headquartered in Florida. Uh, I use KW Luxuries magazine and I run actual print advertising in DuPont. 55 plus countries. It's distributed to every locker room of the NFL, NHL, NBA, MLB. It's in every single private jet airport lounge. Nothing comes close to the dominance of DuPont. Well, in addition to running ads inside DuPont's actual magazine, I want all of you to screenshot this or write this down. DuPont has amazing packages that a lot of agents are not aware that they have that you don't actually have to run print. They do stuff for you online. I want you to text the word X Club, your name and your email to 797979. And at that point, I, they, were, they will text you back these packages and tell you what discount you get. But really, really cool stuff that this magazine has done for me to help me get other luxury listings. Brandy. Awesome. Wow. Um, every time I hear you speak and you're my coach still, I, I'm taking notes, I'm learning so much, and I'm getting a lot of questions and, and a few things in the chat box. So um, and I know we got, I know we got a, I know we're running out of time. Uh, I apologize. Yeah, no, that's okay. Um, let me just run through here and see if there are any pressing questions. How, Actually, just some great comments. How often do you guys do this luxury call? Um, so we do it the third Tuesday of every single month. And it's always at noon. Do you already have somebody for the next one? Because I will offer, just because it's you and Georgia and Ashley, <laughs> we can do a part two. Okay. We could do September. Uh, we do have a month that we need to fill in September. We have uh, Jeanette Spinelli from Austin next month, already full. Okay. But we'd love to have you in September if you can do that third Tuesday. I will do a part two and go even deeper on this, uh, this topic, because this topic, I have probably about 26 hours of coaching curriculum right. on getting high in clientele. So I'll just do like another hour uh, that will help everybody maybe start to implement some things. Um, but questions you have for me or questions they have, and then I'm gonna tell everybody uh, right now the, uh, so that you guys have your winner. Um, for the for the coaching slot really quick. Yep, no pressing questions, just a, a, some good feedback and then um, some private questions to me, just kind of asking about tips and tricks, but I'll get to those. Uh, any questions, if anyone is in the audience that wants to go on mute before we announce the winner? All right, I don't see any questions. I think they're all mind blown right now and probably gonna have notes and notes to scroll through. So let's go ahead and announce Hey Brandy. Hey, Brandy. Oh, we have one. Yeah, hey, Brandy, it's Mark. Would it be possible, Tony, to repeat that text number, please? Uh, for DuPont? Yes, sir. 797979. You, that's the phone right. number. That's the phone number, just 797979. And then go into okay. the body of the text and text the word X Club. X Club. -U -B. And DuPont will text you back these amazing deals that they have. Or you can call DuPont and just tell uh, a lady by the name of Sherry uh, the word X Club and she'll tell you like these packages that they do. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Okay, here we go. So uh, before I do the giveaway, if you don't win, then this page right here is one more deal that I've given KW NFR. If you don't win, go to this URL right here at the top, www.kwnfr.risegroupcoaching.com. This URL right here, it's a special KW NFR deal. Everybody look at that. And at the bottom, instead of 2,400 a year, this is strictly for your region. Please do not share this link. I do not offer this to other areas, but I'm doing this just for, for Brandy. 
it is a special landing page where you guys can get it for over 50% off if you're not the winner right now. Uh, KWNFR.RiseGroupCoaching.com if you want to be a, a one-year member of my uh, coaching curriculum. Okay, here we go. I want everybody to text the phone number, but don't text it until I give you the winning word. All right. Uh, let me pull up my phone just so we got it. The, the phone number that I want you to text a winning word to uh, is 310-694-5022. 310-694-5022. And the winning word to text right now is... KWNFR rocks. KWNFR rocks. KWNFR rocks. Oh, here they come. <laughs> Who's going to be winner? <clears throat> oh, my goodness. I can't get to the bottom one. Hold on. <laughs> I had a lot of other texts too at the same time during this presentation. Uh, uh -oh. <laughs> I can imagine. Hold on. Almost. Okay. The phone number, because uh, I need to tell you the phone number and then we'll, we'll have them, uh, if this is your phone number, then type your name after I read the phone number so we know who won. But the phone number that won is 941-400-8227. Who's the winner? 941-400-8227. Huh? Andrew Pepper. Congratulations, Andrew, in the Lakewood Ranch office, Sarasota Lakewood Ranch office. Oh, and I spoke, I spoke for that office a couple times. I love that office. I know. Andrew, great. I'm so happy you got this opportunity or have this opportunity. So if you didn't win, here's your special landing page if you still want to. But uh, congratulations, Andrew. Uh, you are uh, the man and just won a one-year membership to the program. Thank, Thank you, Tony. Greatly, greatly appreciate it, Tony and Brandy. You guys are awesome. You're awesome, Andrew. Thank you so much, Tony. This has been amazing. And I just love kind of, you know, the journey you've been on and watching you. I mean, you were an agent, you owned market centers, you were investors in market centers, you're a trainer, you're a speaker, you're a coach, you have all these multiple businesses. I just feel like this is at a prime example of kind of that land of opportunity map that we show agents when they first uh, come over and join the family. And you're the epitome of that. I mean, you definitely had this wonderful journey and you're still continuing to go on the journey. And um, I love that you have a team still that I know London really helps out a lot with and you guys work well together. So, and it gives you the ability to do all these other things and, and come on and share your ideas with us on a call. Yeah, like and I wish, I wish these were long. I mean, the, the problem with Zooms today and these virtual presentations is anything of value like we just can't teach that that fast. Like if there's anything that's really valuable information, it takes a while. And unfortunately, these presentations are usually only 30, 60 minutes long and you just can't teach everything in that. Well, but if, if we'll we remind do, everyone where to get your book and definitely yeah. would love to have you back in September. Thank you for offering that because we, uh, we do need to fill that spot. We had a, a cancellation or a, a different schedule. Uh, I would love to. All right, well, thank you Brandy, so much. Uh, just as a reminder, uh, I believe that you met Tony Giordano through some of the events when I brought him to the region, right? Yes, yep. yes. So Georgia is amazing. She brings some of the most wonderful speakers. And I think I saw that he was a John Maxwell coach and I started reading his background. I'm like, okay, I have to take the time as busy as I was before I had a lot of leverage to do the drive. And I would probably complained the whole way there. And then I got there and I was just like, wow, I have to somehow. And I think I, I had to wait to become a coaching client because he had no spots available. So I just kind of, I knew he was on social media. I kept messaging him. I'm like, I need your coaching. 
Yeah, I, she 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 somehow moved in front of like thirty people on the waiting <laughs> list too. So, uh, okay. but you're, you're going into your third year now as a as a mastery client of mine. Um, yes, and you've helped me with all my different businesses and the market yeah. center and um, awesome. helping Dayton transition. And you. But if I could, if I could leave everybody with uh, how much I love your region. Uh, over so many other regions, the the opportunities Georgia has given me, and and just how amazing the events always are. Georgia and Ashley's all her background work and everything that she does. Plus, I love Florida uh, and love to come every single time I can. But uh, I have a special place in your region, uh, in my heart, Georgia, and love all of your agents there so much. Good grief! One of your your former team leaders, uh, Chad. Uh, just referred us another massive $10 million ranch um, uh, because he introduced me to an agent for you named Chip. And Chip referred us to this big uh, ranch that we're going up to next weekend. And this is like what you see in the show Yellowstone. Like <laughs> it's like a true ranch in California. Awesome. And, and we get to stay in the guest house uh, for the weekend out in the middle of nowhere, ride their horses. They're paying for everything because we're going to take their listings. So that's the power of a region like yours. Everybody networking and, and using the resources that Georgia gives you um, because they're, they're priceless resources. Uh, well, thank you, Tony. We so appreciate you. And I appreciate being in your life and, and having you be, be a partner with us for, for, um, for so many years. And uh, I want everybody to go out and buy and buy Tony's book, but just as a as a thank you for being on the call, the first ten of you that go into the chat and um, and put in your type in your name and your home address, I have some Tony Giordano books here. Woohoo! Ooh, nice. Okay, that, I, that I had purchased. You remember those? I purchased these from you, so yeah. I have some books. And for the first ten people that I get a text from with their mailing address, we will mail these out. How's that, Tony? Oh, I love that. That's awesome. Randy, that's a thank you for being on the call today. All uh, the names are coming out go out and, and buy Tony Giordano's books. Yeah, I got it right here. I keep if, it right you're, if, if you're a guest, uh, one of my guests on the call, I'll get you a book. So don't, I see some of my guests on here, but I'll, I'll make sure to hand deliver a book or mail it to you. That's awesome. That's <laughs> honest. Awesome. All right, so uh, Tony, I'm going to transfer over, uh, and uh, um, uh, Brandy, I'm going to transfer over to sharing our screen, and I want to show everybody, so please stay on the call for just about another five minutes, because I want to show you uh, uh, some of the opportunities that we have. So you're all familiar with the Keller Williams or the Luxury Magazine. Tony was, I know, I know talking about uh, opportunities for you guys to, um, to participate and Love the magazine. Do some magazine, right. So this is a picture. Uh, let me just take this down a little bit. There's, there's two things that we're doing. We're trying to build a presence in the Keller Williams Luxury International Magazine. Uh, and we're trying to build something for the North Florida region. So we want to come down the coast from like, you know, where Brandy is Venice, Inglewood, Sarasota, Bradenton area, area over to Tampa. Uh, through Orlando and then out to uh, to Jacksonville area, and we want to have a really big presence in the uh, in the magazine. So we're asking each market center to participate. So let me give you an example of what this might look like. This is the uh, Winter Park Market Center. Now the Winter Park Market Center has already chosen, and they already advertise as a team. Um, when I say a team, as a group, I should say. So these are all individual agents. Uh, they might have a team, but these are all the individual luxury agents that participate in luxury. And so you can see that they're white and black and gold. And so they're dressed very professionally. They have a really great look. And they're concierge real estate service from the world's largest, most productive brand of Keller Williams Luxury International. And then you can see here the, how they have their names listed. So uh, if you wanted to get your market center together and get a group shot somehow. I understand we have masks and other things going on, but if you wanted to somehow get a group together and, and give us a picture like this, then this can, be, uh, this can be advertised in the magazine. The cost for this particular page, any page, is $895. Now, I think they've got 12 people in here, so you can do your math. That's less than $100 a piece. 
uh, to be able to have a presence in a magazine. Each market center uh, would receive, I believe, 100 magazines. And then, of course, you have the online presence of being able to, uh, to, have, a, uh, to have clients go online and, and look at listings and so forth. But uh, this would be something that you could utilize and keep in your portfolio. So when you are going out or showing uh, and wanting to take a listing, you can show how North Florida has a presence, how Keller Williams has a presence. Uh, and so this would be a great way for you to, to use, as Tony has said, as to marketing yourself. So this would be one way you can do it, just to get together as a group in your market center and promote your, and promote your market center. Now, another opportunity we have is, um, let's just say that, this is something that um, like in Brandy's area that you could do. So in this particular case, this is several market centers that are getting together. So this is Keller Williams on the water, Keller Williams Island Life, which is Brandy's market center, Keller Williams Select, which is uh, Lakewood Ranch, so, uh, Keller Williams Sum Coast, uh, which is uh, Inglewood, and then Keller Williams Classic, which is uh, Sarasota Siesta Key. So this is where five market centers got together. All the agents are listed, but it's still that group look. And then each name of the agent is listed below. And then it says serving Sarasota, Manatee and Charlotte counties. So this is another way. So if you're in a market center that's maybe smaller, that only has two or three luxury agents, uh, you may not want to do the entire page like I just showed you, but you may want to participate and do something where you're uh, grouped in with, with some other agents. Uh, like if we look at Sarasota Metro, I think they have 20 or 23 members now. They're probably going to be doing their own page, but they would be grouped in with the, um, with the Florida group. Or because they're so large, they may need to do two pages because this is about 12, pages, 12 people on a page. So they may end up doing two, two um, ads like this and it would end up costing them the, the same amount of money, about $100, $100 a piece, depending on how many people. So the choice is however you wanna do it. Now, let me share with you, how are we gonna do this group if you're all from various market centers? We're gonna find a photographer. And if you can't get together, as I shown you on this other um, ad like this, if you can't get together as a group like this, and you choose to do this, or you want to do the other one, and you just all don't want to get together because of, uh, you know, the, the COVID, then we uh, are going to be um, getting a photographer that can come out and take an individual photo of you. So there would be some cost to the picture, but an individual photo, and then we have somebody that will Photoshop all of this in, because a lot of these were Photoshopped in. Uh, and and uh, we're not we don't want the people on the chairs. We're, we just want to have people being able to stand. So we want to have different poses and then they will put the group together. Again, I want to also emphasize that they weren't as particular with some of their dress. So we want to make sure that we stick with very professional look, black, white, cream, uh, or, uh, or a gold touch. We don't want red. We don't want purple. We don't want to have anything else other than the, the black, uh, more similar to, to this look here, okay? So you can see how, how clean and nice and even uh, Stephen has a gold tie there on. So we don't wanna have any red, we don't wanna have any different colors. Uh, uh, for women, please make sure that you're not wearing sandals. You can see here that most of these are, are, are closed in shoes. So we want it to look just really pristine and, and, um, and professional and, and uh, give you all the opportunity to be uh, who you are, which is a great, which is a great group, okay? So uh, any questions on that? I wanted, while I had a lot of you on the call today, I just wanted to make sure that you were all aware of what we were doing and uh, answer any questions that you might have. I'm trying to- can I, Georgia, can I just leave the people who are on real quick with one little yeah, extra tip? Yeah, absolutely. Um, the reason for it is I just, you know, you know me, I love, I wanna always give value. I could stay on this for six hours more if, I, if, if it was open. So. But just here's a perfect example about how to make one high-end client domino effect into 10 is how you work that sphere. And so many luxury agents, uh, even ones that do consistent amount of luxury, don't do these offline techniques still. They don't stay in relationship with the person or it's somebody who is just high-end that is not your client that we don't think to take to lunch or reach out because why would they want to, why would they want to go to lunch with me? And it's those techniques that always domino effect for me. But an example of, of 
what I'm going to share with you is we just closed the chief marketing officer of Snapchat, uh, who Snapchat's headquarters are here in LA. And he just closed on his big, you know, beautiful house. But after that, we'll be invited to the housewarming. There's no question once it's furnished and we'll go to that housewarming. And it's because we never talk real estate at that housewarming party, which is why we will get more real estate clients because we didn't talk about being an agent. We didn't hand people our card. We got their information to follow up or find them online, connect with them on Facebook. And then now social media will do the rest for me. I don't need to be like, well, if you ever have any questions, like here's my card, that's not the time and place. And it's because of that, that I will get their business. Then in addition to that technique, I've now reached out to the HR director of Snapchat with my clients not knowing, I didn't ask for permission. I just reached out to the HR director and I said, hey, I've helped you know, some Snapchat, you know, one in particular, your CMO, you know, he just closed on a house and uh, I think your company is fantastic. And I just wanted to send you my information in case you guys ever need any help with other Relo and executives, blah, blah, blah. Here's my name, here's my brand. She immediately responded and said, oh my goodness, this is fantastic. And I'll make sure I say congratulations on his new house. We knew he was closing soon. So that's exciting that they got the house, blah, blah, blah. Just put you on my agent list, Tony, and I'll be in touch next week. So I just wanted to leave you with those, those, that strategy is gonna domino effect more executives and more luxury higher end clientele, I guarantee just in the next two months. Hey, Tony, maybe he'll do a Snapchat of your face and you'll even get more business. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> although, although, although in 2.0, people know that I kind of bash Snapchat. I was just gonna say, has he read your book? <laughs> yeah. uh, and now what I'm saying, because uh, 3.0 is coming out soon, and on 3.0, I go into quoting him and we go into the value Snapchat can bring, but ultimately nothing's changed. It's not the place for building your brand and relationships comparatively to the other networks. Maybe but he could do a maybe he can do a forward for you or whatever those things are called. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I don't I use Snapchat for this. <laughs> We didn't even know I had Social Agent 2.0 until after we closed last week. That's again. <laughs> because I just didn't want him to read it and be like, I'm not using this guy. <laughs> so, so yeah. All that's, right, guys. Tony, cool. as always, love you. Thanks for everything you do for us. Everybody excited? Um, Ashley, you got those. Uh, yeah. We got your names. We'll be sending these books out. Go out and buy Tony's book. You can get it on Amazon, right, Tony? Yep. And uh, have a great day, everybody. Brandy, thanks for everything you do for us in making luxury awesome. Uh, please you. make sure that you talk to your team leader about the um, uh, advertisement, if that's something you want to uh, participate in. And uh, we appreciate you guys. Have a great week. And uh, we'll uh, talk to you next month. Who's Thank our you, Georgia. Jeanette Thank Spinelli? You. you guys don't want to miss that. Woohoo! Yeah, Jeanette Spinelli next month. She's fabulous. Have a great week, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.